Do you want a multi-story breeding farm in Pile World? If so, I got you. First step, find a good location and build there. For me, I chose a route of Dumud at coordinates 256 negative and 48 positive. It's wide, it's open, and it's flat. I built a stone foundation in the middle-ish, and then I put my pile box on top of that. Just be aware of your pile box placement. You build out your whole barn and you break it, you just broke everything else too and built out my stone foundation. And during the process, I also built a garip of these logging sites and stone pits to get like the basic resources while I'm also building my base. Now, eventually, once I had all the tips of the circle touched, I built my stairs. To build stairs in Power World, you got to figure out where you want the stairs to go. For me, I'm going to go ahead and place them right here on this little block right, right there. You place a stone wall on top of a foundation that's already built, and then you go to your stairs and you place that, and that's basically it. Now you can break the stone wall and continue building your stairs however high you want to. I could go higher than just the, the three stairs I have placed, but I like three stairs. Three, the three stair or three levels is good enough for me. And for example's sake, once your stairs is as high as you want them to be, you then place a stone roof. The roof is going to be our uh, floor for, for now. And you place that however far you want it to go, however wide. It can't go too much wider than the actual circle of the pow box because things will deteriorate. And you build that out. For me, I put my stairs on going to the outskirts of my base just to have more room on the innards. I could change that, but I kind of like it the way it is. So that example is now done. Now, once you have your second floor built out, at least to the middle of it, you destroy your pow box on the bottom floor and you place it on the middle floor. At least that's what I did. You could put it on the top floor, bottom floor, keep it there, whatever. I like this format better. And the way my pow box is set up, which I think you have, it has to be placed like this kind of, the backwards of it, I put it to where it's touching more of this side with the front of the pow box. That way I can get to the, I can get behind it. And certain pals are quick. So I drag a pal like a jet dragon into my base, turn around, spam pickup. I now have it. Simple as that. The layout of the breeding farms, barns, or stables is going to be six on the second floor for me and three on the bottom. You could have more than that. You could have six on each floor. And they do actually count as really nice storage since they don't actually lag you out. I have eggs right there, eggs down there, and right there. I have storage on top as well on the third floor, which could be more breeding farms if you wanted. And these are viewing cages, which can store 40 pals, really cheap to make. But when you put pals in there, especially big ones, they kind of get, it gets a little laggy. An example of that is at my industrial base, which looks like this. And the viewing boxes up top or viewing cages, it was way worse than this. But when you have a ton of pals in there, especially the large ones, things get a little dicey. Like, I noticed a bit of lag here, a bit of frame issues, more so than anywhere else. I built my breeding barns pretty close to each other. You don't have to do that. You can have more space. Since before, I think you had to have these saunas to try and ease their sanity and whatnot. Now, you don't need that. You don't need food bowls. You don't need anything. As long as your pals have a mate in their breeding barn, they won't get hungry or anything like that. This bee, no homies. No sandwiches. They're starving. They're friendless. They're starving and they got minor energy. They're, they're, they're hitting rock bottom here. But every other pal except for this one too is also just lonely. They're fine. After the new update. So what I did before though, before the update, I had to place a food bowl near every little barn, which didn't actually do anything. They all went to the same bowl, which is kind of tilting. And I had beds in there as well. I don't think you need beds, food bowls, unless you want to go for an aesthetic where you have the, your pals that aren't in the bins or pins living their best life. So speaking of which, I'm going to put you away. You're, you're giving me anxiety. I placed my egg incubator a little off center, admittedly, but right in front of my pal box and on the corners of it are chests, storage boxes, which is nice. It's honestly really close and convenient spacing. I like it a lot. And then past that, I have my pal condenser for cracking out my pals, making them nuts. And I got more storage here. When you build storage boxes, you want to have more space than I do. So if you want to keep the aesthetic going like I got with a wall, put one more wall here and space these out. Because right now, I want to open this chest. I'm not opening this chest. I'm opening the chest to the right of it. Because this chest is empty. But this is for storing eggs or whatever else. Because uh, I have a lot of eggs that I need to hatch. And I, just, I, I, don't have, I don't have the space in the POW box. We need like a thousand POW box slots. A 
thousand. I'm I'm out here having to cut ties with really cool pals to make ends meet. Initially, I had a ranch that was in a corner of this base somewhere, and I had a bee guard to make some honey. That way, things were going pretty decent. But now I just have nothing else here. It is simply just breeding. And that way I don't have to worry about food bowls, none of that nonsense, if everyone has their mate and their pen and they're chilling. Instead, I delegate that to a different base where I have cows, I believe bees, and other stuff. I think my, my current setup is actually, I do it to where at the industrial base, I have cows and chickens and maybe one bee guard. Zero bee guards. I might change that. But a bunch of cows because milk is the hardest resource for your pals to make in abundance of. Because you need so much for cakes. Like I have 87 cakes right here out of 80, uh, 181. The cows make a lot of milk now. But st still not. Like It's, it's like the, the, the pain point I'd say. So that's my setup here. Uh, that, that barn chilling. And then at my mining base. My AFK auto mining base. I have bee guards that make honey, which I had an issue where pals were going AFK here and getting stuck and they're doing nothing but eating honey. Is that issue still happening? What is it? What? How are they not making honey? Yeah, there's a, there's a pal that's stuck right now. What are you doing, bro? They just, they get stuck and they, they go into eat mode. They just eat everything. Brutal. Like, watch. If I put this in the bowl... Look at that. It's gonna sit there and give me an epileptic... Somebody's eating at a house and home. I think it's this guy. He just doesn't stop eating. I didn't have a problem with things getting stuck here until today, actually. I think I need to build a foundation, and that way they won't get stuck to the ground like that as often, hopefully. I sh I'll do that. I'll build, a I'll build a mining base tomorrow or something. I gotta do that here soon. But like I was saying, the bees normally do stuff. I just think I gotta I gotta fix up the base. I have the ranch in the ground. That, that could be my fault. <laughs> I should change that. I'll build this base tomorrow, I think. My closing statement is a tip. If you want to breed massive pals, like a jet wagon, for instance, you drag it in, grab it. They're fast, bro, I'm telling you. And most of the time we throw a massive pal from the front of the barn, like so. It goes into this acting mode. It's trying to secure the role in a major drama. To avoid that, you want to go ahead and go behind the barn and backshot it. And it usually works. That almost always works. Sometimes it doesn't, but it almost always works. I don't know what it is. This game and backshots are like this. They're inseparable. So you can throw from the outside some cases. You can throw like right here. You can throw in the little barn stuff. It's just when you throw from the front, it, it, it doesn't work. I don't know what it is. I, don't, I have no idea what to say. Also, I would probably not put this chest so close to this pal box. Because sometimes I'm right here and I can't interact with this because of the chest. So, maybe move the chest back and you just have two on the outskirts of this. Because these don't interfere with this. That I've noticed, at least. That's just my advice right there. Uh, that's the video, I believe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.